and uh, there's a lot of bullshit that's happening with him uh, that I think is already garbage. Um, I think the whole setup between him and Drake, uh, I think a ton of money was exchanged and uh, no one even brought it up. Essentially, that was probably an ad. Um, but, you know, and, that, and that's a start of problems like uh, with him. Like, he, he's become so big in his, in his own... In his own right, like, the guy was on Fallon the other night, for fuck's sakes, okay? Like, he didn't even know what, what to do with himself, okay? They had to do the pom-pom dance. The pom-pom dance is only good if you're going to have those little effects on screen, okay? Otherwise, you're just sitting here doing this, and nobody knows what the fuck you're doing, okay? Nobody. But, whatever. You're the in thing now. It's going to be really tough on him when Fortnite ends. You're watching one streamer who was a lot of fun until he got some success and then his stream got commercial and he stopped uh, being his responsive in chat unless you subbed. Yeah, don't believe it for a second. Yep, I, 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 I'm happy that I'm not the only one thinking that, um, which is unfortunate. It really is. Um, and if you decide to call him out on stuff like that too, um, you know, it, it only gets... Come on! Oh, God damn it. Thank God. Wish we didn't die to this guy 14 times this time. I I mean, I, I, I think most streamers, um, you know, the, the, the ninjas of the world, you know, he, he was already relatively popular, I guess, when you want to think of, of streaming, I, I guess. Like, he was already getting two or three thousand people with his Halo streams and whatnot. Um, but, okay, here he comes the bullshit. Jesus Christ. Um, but, if, if, if someone... Oh, come on! Like, you can't even get away from these people. Um... I think most people can handle 100 people. Uh, anything beyond that, I, I don't know. I, you, you don't know how to act until it happens to you, right? Um, they, they, so they get so used to the money, right? Like, what about the Twitch thoughts nowadays? Heaven forbid, I don't even know if I can say that nowadays. Well, maybe the, the thought of being banned for Christ's sakes. But, you know, the alinities of the world, the amaranths of the world, the, you know... They're, they're basically just sitting there in their bra and underwear, quite literally. And somehow they don't get banned. Like, I don't understand that. So, someone please under, you know, explain that whole situation to me. I'd love to understand it. Because Twitch is so hypocritical about so much crap. Okay, and I'm only just throwing out a few of their, you know, a few of the the names out there. There's a lot of them that do it that have much lower viewerships, but they're still somewhat popular, right? Thank God. All right, we're back to back to it again. It it does it does sell. That's not my that's not my disagreement. The problem is is that Twitch Twitch are hypocrites. Hypocrisy it is. The the problem is is that if I do something, and the same goes, I guess you could argue even for partners or I'm an affiliate, but that's that's nothing. I might as well be a nobody. Um, is that you know there's the joke of the Hassan chop. Okay, and there's always the joke of that if one of these titty streamers end up doing something stupid like overly sexual or you know one of their tits pop out or God knows whatever, um, the, 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 the funny saying is that all they have to do is send Hassan who is a, a Twitch administrator, I don't know, he works for Twitch, regardless, send him a nude shot and uh, you know all of a sudden their permanent ban then becomes a, a 20 a 24 hour ban or a 12 hour ban or something stupid like that so that's where the comical stuff of that is like i find that so funny like because it exists it exists 
Oh, sorry. Are we not fighting now? Right, I'm gonna f get away from. You. Uh. Oh shit. Okay. I think I need to have the life gems, and maybe I need this. Why? How am I running out of stamina so quickly? I don't get it. it how am I missing you? Oh, he probably could be asking the same question himself. Oh, you're not getting a touch to me on there. You are not, and I'm pressing X to use a gem, you stupid... Holy shit. Now who do I have to face up here? Yeah, except... I don't know, like... It's just so unfortunate that... I've, I've joked about this before. No, no, I haven't joked about it, but... I've always referred to his Twitch as the, um, maybe, but I'm not using a power attack. I'm, I'm using a normal attack. Like, that's the normal attack I'm using. I don't know. Anyways, so I always had the, this, this saying that Amazon truly doesn't know what they have currently with Twitch. When they bought it, they had no idea. Like, it would have been better off if Google actually would have bought it, I would have thought. But Amazon, I, I've always joked that, has no idea what Twitch is. They just bought it because they were told that this was the next big thing. So essentially Twitch operates as a company as if it's a teenager with mommy and daddy's money. And eventually one of those things, uh, I've always said like, uh, if you remember the, uh, I'm trying to think, what was his name? Uh, Ice Poseidon. Uh, he was an old Twitch streamer. He's now on YouTube or whatever. Um, he uh, had some of his viewers calling a, a bomb threat when he was trying to fly somewhere. And so that got him banned essentially. Um, but I've always said that all it's going to take is one incident, one major incident that's going to get on the, the Fox News, the CNN, on everything, where it's going to be very, very bad for Twitch and thus Amazon. And what's going to get mentioned is it's not going to be Twitch that gets mentioned. It's going to be Amazon-owned live streaming site. And it's gonna it's gonna drop their stocks a little bit. It's not gonna tank them or anything like that. But that's gonna be their wake up call. That we're instead of having the people who are currently running the Twitch right now, is when Amazon's gonna bring their people in. And it's gonna be a big turn on of, of what's gonna happen. And I think what's gonna happen is gone is the IRL section. Gone are all the the Twitch thoughts. All those things are gonna be gone. A page on Patreon, not a stream. Exactly, exactly. That type of stuff. All right, so you, we cool? We cool? Yes. So all it's going to take is one of those things that's going to happen, uh, and shit's going to hit the fan, and I guarantee Amazon will take notice, and um, that'll be the end of a lot of the shit that's going on on Twitch currently. Uh, you are a massive dragon. And I hope I can talk to you, and I don't have to fight you. The Merc shifts and stirs. Yet another stands before us. Yeah, do you, do you guys want to subscribe, or, you know, uh, be patrons to my Patreon to get my lewds and nude photo shoots and all that stuff? You know, when I cosplay and be super sexy? Do you want that? Like... How the fuck is that what Patreon's even allowing? And don't get me started on the stuff that Patreon has started to get rid of um, people they disagree with, right? Like the Alex Joneses of the world are, are no longer welcome on, on Patreon because they disagree with it. In the end, Alex Jones is entertainment. I'm not saying I agree with anything that Alex Jones says. He A lot of it says is funny. Because I can see through that stuff. We all know it's not true, but somehow Donald Trump got elected as the American president. So I guess there is some type of truth to that type of statement of 
people can get uh, really stupid with those types of things. Uh, so get those Twitch clips and send the news people. They're on Facebook now. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, what, what did I come up here for then? What, wait, what did I just get? A key? I gotta start paying a lot more attention to the game, but I was stuck in a, I was stuck in a saying there. Patreon has no business being the arbiter of which... Exactly. Exactly. As long as they're not doing anything illegal, you know, that's, that should be it. Uh, so Patreon shouldn't be the one making those those decisions. Exactly. Exactly, Defunct. You're, you're on it. Okay, and that's the unfortunate thing that we're running into now with the world now is that... Is that that might start to happen. A bank may may now tell you want sooner or later. Um, hey, we, we don't agree with what you're doing, and this is now who you're going to do business with. Could, like, could you imagine that world? Could you imagine? Like, we're, we might we might be close to it, and that's really really terrible. All right, so I again I, I've talked to a, a fucking dinosaur, and now I'm stuck trying to figure out where we want to go now again. That made no sense. Other than the, the dragons are seemingly going crazy. Uh, and a bank shouldn't be bullied by the government. No longer can I play poker online because of it. That's terrible. PayPal is a bank, but they're acting like a courting judge who's worthy of using the strategy. Exactly. Exactly. And they shouldn't be. Oh, uh, like... Where the hell do I want to go here? That guy was ready to fight me right there. How did I miss this? The so banks are protected by the federal government, so they have to listen to something that's not really. Yeah, yes, I, I, yes, there, there's an agreement there. Oh shit! getting that shield hit off and why is it hit so damn hard ow 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 Fuck, I knew that was going to happen. The, and you know what, though? And, and, and another problem that I, I find with a lot of streamers, and I, I guess I can't blame them. I mean, I'm Canadian, right? But I get just as much American news as the next guy. Um, I can't believe how many streamers just want to avoid the, the political talk. I, I don't understand. And not just political. Like, I, I understand Donald Trump's a big reason for that and blah, blah, blah. But... I don't understand why they want to avoid it. It's it's good conversation. Like, are they afraid that their chats can become so toxic that they, they can't even bother? Like, why do I gotta fight this guy again? I have ran into a wall before. It's ne it didn't go very well, so I do agree that getting hit by a shield would suck. It's essentially getting hit by a car door. Uh, we need an international law for the internet that forces online payment processors and platform 
uh, to offer services. Isn't that essentially what like Bitcoin is trying to be, though? I was having this uh, conversation with a a coworker. Um, you now he's got some Bitcoin, apparently. Um, he, he found it odd that I hadn't had Bitcoin for God knows whatever reason. Um, but uh, what did I not have any souls there? That's odd. Um, but the problem with Bitcoin, like, is is that there needs to be that type of regulation. Like, people are afraid, like, you can lose your Bitcoins if you lose your wallet. Like, could you imagine that was your bank account? Like, people can lose millions of dollars in Bitcoin if they lose their digital wallet. Could you imagine you forgot your bank account number? And then your bank just told you, like, yeah, well, we don't know where your money is then. Like, that's that's how it works. Like, that's the type of thing I think that needs to be sort of fixed up with Bitcoin. But that's also the reason why Bitcoin is the way it is. They, they want to avoid that type of stuff because they want to avoid the, regular, the federal regulations uh, that come with, you know, money. guy hit so fucking hard. Oh, oh, I got so lucky there. Yeah, people do get uh, pretty heated and start the name calling. But but be able to wear it, I guess. Like, that's, that's, that's my thing. Like, I don't know. I, I, I guess people aren't fans of, oh, like, don't. There can be sexist comments and, and all that jazz. Like, for fuck's sakes, just... <sighs> just like I said earlier, learn learn to live with... Learn to live with the internet, man. Learn to live with it. All right, I want to escape over here. And I'm hoping you're not going to attack me. Is this where we wanted to go? But now I'm probably going to get all these people chasing after me. A bunch of crazies. Oh god. Is there someone coming after me? It sounds like it. Um, like the old saying, three things never bring up to a mixed company. Sex, politics, and religion. I guess. Uh, PayPal's locking accounts with funds in them and the people have no recourse. Yeah, that's that's another terrible thing, but you, you should be able to go to the government and, and argue with that. If, if PayPal wants to act like a bank, then there should be, um, there should be that validity uh, uh, available to uh, the customer. Should be. Fuck's sakes. Ow. Ow. Yeah. Can you hit people in here? Yeah, you, you can't have no regulation, right? But that's that's how people want that Bitcoin to work. Like, that's... You, you can't... Bitcoin can't work like that, okay? Like, there needs to be a type of regulation with the system. It has to be. I was fucking one hit away. Fuck sakes. Mm. I think I'll stream for another half an hour. Make an honest person out of me. Let's see where we can get. I mean, it's good. It's it's been extremely good streams uh, the past few days uh, with progress. Except I'm going to die of these morons in five seconds. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm, gl I'm glad to hear you. I'm like... Sometimes 
you know, I think if people open up their spectrum of what they're allowing themselves to talk about, you know, you'd be surprised at the conversations you can have with people. You know, let's have a political discussion, right? See what happens. Why don't you find, like, you know, you know what I think the fear is of a lot of streamers and why they don't want to have politics? I mean, let's be honest. I mean, I'm not saying anything about anybody in here, all three of us that are currently in here, but Donald Trump got elected somehow, okay? And if people want to have uh, uh, terrible thoughts about him and how much of a terrible person he is, um, newsflash, there are terrible people, terrible people everywhere, okay? Everywhere. And my thing is, is that Maybe, just maybe, I think that the audience, maybe they don't want their, maybe they don't want to know that their audience is like that, right? So just keep it all good and quiet. Maybe. I hope Trump somehow proposes an internet bill of rights in the USA because it would go a long way to force the rest of the world to regulate the net and protect the users. But isn't the states much closer to getting rid of net neutrality? Can't deal with this guy. I can try to cheese you. Oh god. He's trying to cheese me back. Oh god. Ow! Yeah, cheese dick. Just hit him once! Is he dead? Oh, thank God. Are we friends? Can we have a chit chat? Can I kiss you? Mwah! Beautiful. I could use a bonfire again. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Where is this guy? Obama was for net neutrality. Trump knows that tech companies are calling the shots and deplatforming people based on their opinions, so he has mentioned it needs to be addressed. Yeah, but um, you can. I, I think you can still have net neutrality and also get rid of the tech companies that are pulling that garbage. Can you not? Or, or am I wrong in the thinking there? Where is this guy that was invading me? up at the top here isn't he? he's just waiting for me maybe i can get him to fall down like a moron god i need me a bonfire <sighs> okay God, my, like, I, I'm trying to think, like, what on earth has happened to my stamina? Like, 